Certified height hook-in points are absolutely critical for safety. Uh, when looking for a paramotor, pretty much every paragliding harness has updated to this many, many, many years ago. So if you buy pretty much any name brand certified paragliding harness, it's gonna come standard with certified height hook-in points. There isn't any other height. With paramotors, so many are built by people that just aren't even pilots and really don't understand the sport that people don't even understand that there is a standard height that your hook-in point needs to be at. Uh, and that distance is determined between the seat and the carabiner. Now think of this for a second. If your carabiner hooks right here, if you bury the brake, notice you're only pulling about 16 inches of brake. But if you take that hook end point and raise it up above your head, now look what happens. Now when you pull brake, you're pulling over four feet of brake. That is the difference between life and death. One guy who just died, sadly, he died on Black Hawk gear because they did not have certified height hook in points. So when he got in a panic and he pulled a little bit too much brake, the glider whip stalled right out of the sky. That in conjunction, since the unit didn't have any crumple zone, it was his spine that took the impact and the gentleman died. This just does not need to happen in paramotoring. Certified height hook in points. With a flat top and a good certified glider like the Dominator, you can literally bury the brakes as far as you can push them, and that glider is designed not to stall. It is very stall and spin resistant. You'd have to basically take a wrap, bury the brakes as far and as hard as you can, and hold it there for about eight seconds before you can get a certified glider to actually stall. So certified height hook in points is absolutely critical.